Hey, One Piece fans. Welcome back to Virtual Vanguard. Today, we're diving into the intriguing One Piece cover story, Miss Golden Week's Operation Meet Baroque Works. If you're ready for some exciting adventures, please give us a like, share your thoughts in the comments, and consider subscribing for more One Piece content. Let's dive in. In the jungles of a certain island, a dinosaur ponders a strange little hut built of something nigh indestructible. Having survived her defeat after all, Miss Golden Week continues to live on Little Garden, even getting service from the news coups. From the newspaper, Miss Golden Week, as well her cohabitants Mr. Five and Miss Valentine, learn that Baruch Works has fallen, with most of the other officer agents arrested. To Mr. Five and Miss Valentine's horror, Miss Golden Week resolves to help the imprisoned agents, most if not all complete strangers, escape. Set on her mission, Miss Golden Week tames a pterodactyl with a new colors trap, meaning to use it as transportation off of Little Garden. Unwilling to let Miss Golden Week go off by herself, Mr. Five and Miss Valentine reluctantly hitch themselves on the pterodactyl as well. As the trio take off, Dory, apparently having forgiven everything, waves farewell. Barack works or not, some things never change. Dory and Broji continue their duel of honor. Miss Golden Week's party rides high on their new pterodactyl until a sudden rainstorm washes off the colors trap controlling it. Regaining its senses, the pterodactyl hurls its three passengers right off. Miraculously, right below is Cayuca Island, a premier tourist spot Miss Golden Week herself once enjoyed. Already battered from their impromptu landing, Mr. Five and Miss Valentine are treated to more bad news. Marines are all over Cuca Island, and all Miss Golden Week cares about is buying ice cream. In charge of scouring Cuca Island for any at-large Baroque Works agents is none other than Captain Black Cage, Hina. Her unit's biggest target, Mr. Three, Miss Golden Week, Miss Valentine, and Mr. Five, soon find a wanted poster of Baroque Works' other highest-profile fugitive, Mr. Two, who has actually managed to escape custody. Hoping to dodge the Marines, Miss Golden Week, Mr. Five, and Miss Valentine don disguises and wind up looking even more flamboyant than before. Miss Golden Week's party is almost immediately spotted by Hina, thanks to reference pictures provided by two other Baruch Works detainees. Their disguises exposed, Miss Golden Week's party scatter before Hina. Soon, the Marine captain ensnares Miss Valentine Flinging bodily explosives everywhere, Mr. Five just barely manages to stall Django full body and the rest of Hina's squad long enough to cover an escape for himself and Miss Golden Week. Sadly, the other agents can do nothing for Miss Valentine, whom Hina quickly binds to a pillar. Meanwhile, Django and full body make a thorough inspection of their prisoner's parasol. Mr. Five and Miss Golden Week are horrified to find a public ultimatum from Hina, issued to Mr. Three as well as themselves. Surrender by sunset, or Miss Valentine will be executed. One Baroque Works fugitive has no qualms about leaving Miss Valentine to her fate. Mr. Three, who has somehow also wound up on Cuca Island, but even now races for his ship. As Mr. Three prepares to cast off in his ship, a mysterious stranger stops him. Mr. Three finds his escape being foiled by none other than Mr. Two, who condemns him for leaving his fellow Baroque Works agents to the Marines. Miss Golden Week and Mr. Five sneak to the coast of Cuca Island, where they find that Hina's unit have indeed bound Miss Valentine to a giant execution cross. Hina and her unit are shocked to see Mr. Three arriving on a cart, tightly bound, complete with a note of surrender. The Marine's new catch is too good to be true after all. Mr. Three reveals himself to be Mr. Two, ready for a rematch with Hina's unit. Crushing the rest of Hina's squad in an instant, Mr. Two now prepares to face the Black Cage herself, all to give Miss Golden Week and Mr. Five the opening they need to rescue Miss Valentine. Hina proves a much tougher opponent for Mr. Two, her caging abilities handily countering his close quarters Okama Kenpo. Whatever his chances against Hina, Mr. Two has achieved his true goal, to give Miss Golden Week and Mr. Five an opening to rescue Miss Valentine. Miss Golden Week, Mr. Five, and Miss Valentine escape Cuca Island on Hina's own ship, controlling the crew through a few well-placed colors traps. Eventually, 
the hijacked ship takes Miss Golden Week's party to the marine installment, holding the rest of Baroque works. Posing as helpless prisoners, and led by a marine still controlled under betrayal black, Miss Golden Week, Miss Valentine, and Mr. Five infiltrate the prison. Even in defeat, Barack Works is no pushover. Crocodile, Mr. One, and Mr. Four, all cuffed, have made short work of every other prisoner that dared to attack. Baroque Works women are no less dangerous in defeat, as Miss Golden Week and Miss Valentine soon learn, seeing what Miss Doublefinger and Miss Merry Christmas have done to the rest of the women's cell block. Keys in hand, the freed women of Baroque Works quickly break into the men's cell block. In no time at all, the reunited Baroque Works agents break out of the Marine base. Surprisingly, both Crocodile and Daz Bonez stay behind in their cell, letting the others escape without them. As the Baroque Works escapees sail off, Miss Golden Week produces a parting gift, one last colors trap, blending all the colors of her palette. Three dreams revealed by the rainbow colors trap, Miss Merry Christmas, a princess, Miss Golden Week, a true artist, and Miss Doublefinger, her Paula guys from Spider's Cafe. Four more dreams revealed by the rainbow colors trap, Miss Valentine, a chocolatier, Mr. Five, a fireman, Mr. Four, a pizza delivery man, and Lasu, a tank. The rainbow colors trap unearths the most unexpected dreams of all. Crocodiles of being the pirate king, and Mr. Ones of being a superhero. Their former aspirations restored, Miss Golden Week and her fellow escapees find a new home, a long deserted saloon on an unknown island. In no time at all, the ex Barack Works agents convert the saloon into a new Spider's Cafe, where they can pursue their dreams in peace. The Marines haven't been left empty handed, though the lower members of Barack Works have escaped. Crocodile and Mr. One remain in custody and Hina has apprehended Mr. Two and Mr. Three. Unwilling to chance any more escapes, the Marines transfer their remaining Baroque works arrests, Crocodile, Mr. One, Mr. Two, and Mr. Three, to the highest security prison in the world.